t-shirt says more than don't back down. I'm here at the TCU Bookstore where fans have been lining up to check out the new uniforms that the Horned Frogs will be wearing this Saturday. TCU was chosen to be one of 10 programs to sport the new pro combat uniforms, the lightest ones that Nike has ever created. It's a purple jersey with scale print pants, black gloves, purple and black shoes, and a helmet with bloodlines on top. The bloodlines represent the blood that a horned frog shoots out of its eyes as a defense mechanism. This, this, this uniform is about telling a story about TCU. Uh, we were hoping that maybe it would be a big game when it got to the Utah game and they would be playing for something. But, and, you know, I think our kids are really excited about the uniform, to be honest with you. The fourth-ranked Frogs will debut their new threads against the 16th-ranked Utah at a sold-out game. The last time the Frogs had a sold-out home game was three years ago against Texas Tech. To add to the hype, ESPN's College Game Day is taking their set to TCU's campus. It's a pretty exciting time around here. The, it's been really crazy. I don't think anybody's been able to focus on anything. Mayor Mike Moncrief declared November 13th as Go Purple Day. He said the entire city of Fort Worth is encouraged to wear purple to support the Frogs as they fight to remain undefeated. You know, it's already crazy um, to you know, be walking around campus yesterday to see the line outside, people trying to get tickets and everything. You know, the atmosphere is going to be great. You know, this is a, this is a, a big game for uh, the Frogs, the, you know, the program, the school, the, the whole Fort Worth community, I think. For more updates on the Frogs, be sure to check back with us this weekend. Patty Espinosa, TCU News Now.